Yeah, teamwork. Um, in my view, the ultimate definition is taking a collective group of people with different types of skill sets to achieve one ultimate goal that you've all agreed on, focused and trained to be able to do. Uh, when you apply it to sailing, sailing, I don't believe sailing gets the credit within the sports world and even the business world of being, I believe, the ultimate team sport. Uh, there's so many things that come into play. Every maneuver in sailing, everything that goes on with it requires anywhere from five to 15 people with, in sequence being able to achieve their tasks in absolute perfect harmony in order to ultimately pull off what you're trying to do. Um, like any team, there's a variety of skills, a variety of personalities. You have to have leaders, you have to have people driving, you have to have the physicality of it. Um, sailing, in my view, is equal to any sport you'll ever find that amplifies how important teamwork is. When we're looking to put together our team, you know, there are a number of traits that I think are just very important. One is talent. In my view, talent rules everything. Uh, once you have the talent, the other very, very important part of it is are they ultimately motivated to achieve the goals of what the team's trying to do? Uh, you know, that seems like it's something that is just a given, but it's not always a given. Uh, for me, the ultimate thing with meshing this group of talented subject matter experts that are motivated comes down to making sure everybody involved with the process is, has a parallel agenda. Their agenda, if they succeed, the team succeeds. If the team succeeds, they succeed. And if you can mesh those three things, talent, motivation, and a desire to reach a parallel agenda together, what the team can do is almost unlimited. You know, I get asked constantly is, you know, isn't it tough dealing with a professional group of sailors and the egos? And quite frankly, I love the egos. I love the confidence. I love each and every person, their desire, their passion to be the best at what they do. And to me, I don't feel that you can accomplish anything without talented people that have the confidence and desire, and I think confidence more often is misrepresented or misunderstood as ego. Um, on our team, every single person on the team would probably be accused of having a big ego, and if, if I didn't feel that that was a trait of theirs, they wouldn't be on our team. You know, another very, very important part when you're building a team is the individual respect for each other. Uh, not only when you look at everybody's personal agendas, looking at the agenda of what the team's trying to accomplish, but also an understanding of what everybody else on the team wants out of that too. You know, it's very, very difficult to have somebody who is overpoweringly strong or very weak because the collective respect among all the team members, that's a difficult thing to kind of mesh together. But when you have people that are respected as peers of each other, even though one guy might be the greatest bowman in the world and the other guy might be the greatest tactician and neither one could do the other person's job, the fact that they understand and respect how important each of those jobs are to the collective benefit of the team is absolutely critical. It goes throughout the sailing team, bowman, mid-bow, the guy who has to pack the kites between. All of the jobs are so important and everybody on a good team respects how important each role is.